PDF and Pizza Tools, plasma cutters. How do they work? You ever wondered how this little machine works? Is it like magic or what does it do? How does when you pull the trigger on something like this, the flames shoot out of your machine? Um, yeah, check out my video. I'll try and explain a little bit how it works. <coughs> so guys, this is not a video about how to set up your plasma cutter. This is just a basic thing of how the uh, machine works. Um, just so you understand that it's not magic or witchcraft or something like that to when, you, when you pull the trigger and the flame comes out of your machine. So you got your little uh, plasma cutter here. I'm using a cut 40. Um, there's a little box of tricks in here. So you got your circuitry in the uh, machine here. You've actually got your earth clamp and you've got a cutting torch of some description all hooked to it. Now uh, you might think that if you're, if you're cutting with one of these torches and, you, and you've got a, a big flame coming out, that it's, uh, it's enough electricity to electrocute you. Uh, it probably would be if it didn't go through your box of tricks first. But um, when you put your earth clamp onto your piece of work, whatever you're cutting, maybe like so, and then you start cutting it. Let me move this over. Start cutting it like so. You might think that there's that much electricity between here and there that it's going to fry you, but it doesn't. It's, um, it's uh, low voltage, so... Um, yeah, it won't, it won't fry you. Um, it's high frequency, uh, low voltage stuff. So, uh, anyway, what we have with the machine, and turn it around, on the back here, you see we've got a, a gauge here, which you can put your shielding gas into, or any gas what you're using. I uh, just use um, a normal um, air, just out of an air compressor, you plug your air compressor in here. But uh, a lot of uh, uh, commercial shops and that, they use some sort of other gases. Um, yeah, some, some use cooling gases and that, but just for the general workshop, we just use compressed air. So you whack your compressed air in here, and you regulate it here to whatever settings you want. And then what that does, is when it comes to your box of tricks here, and you pull your trigger on the back there, or you push the button, then this torch here, then your compressed air shoots up here and comes out on this nozzle here. Now I've got one of these torches pulled to pieces, so I'll show you. Now this is the same as that torch down there. So what happens here, compressed air comes up here, goes up here, comes through there, and if you don't know if you can see down that hole there, but there's also holes around here and there's holes around here. Can you see the holes around here? So what you do is you put your electrode in there, which is like, sort of like a spark plug on a car. You put your electrode in there, and then this particular model torch is a PT31. Uh, there's some videos up above about different sorts of torches and other bits and pieces, so you might want to have a look at them. And this has got a swirl ring, and if you look at the swirl ring here, you see it's got little holes in it. So you put that on there, and the compressed air or whatever you're using comes up there, goes up here, comes out of these holes. But in the meantime, you put a um, you put a cap on like so, which is your cutting your cutting um, nozzle, and then the whole thing is screwed up with one of these, which is your uh, which is your shield. And what that does, it not only holds all this hold all this together. It's got a rubber seal on here. So basically what that does is when you screw that up there like that, it creates in here, so there's no air can get out the bottom here. So it forces all the air out through this little aperture here, through this little hole in the, in the uh, end of your cutting nozzle here. Now the smaller that hole is, the more force it forces it out. So the more, the more cutting power basically you've got. So what that basically does just bear with me guys, is when your air comes through there and you touch this onto whatever you're cutting to make the circuit, the air comes through there, it gets ionized and it gets pushed up around here, around this, this cutting, cutting nozzle here and the electrode. So it goes round and round and round the electrode really hard, it pushes it and pushes it and pushes it, round and round and round and it ionizes it. And then the only way it can get out is through this little hole in the top. Right? You might be able to see how small that is. I don't know if you can see how small that hole is in there. That little tiny hole, so it pushes all that air out through there. And it goes round and round and round your electrodes, ionizes it. 
and um, pushes it out here and creates what we call plasma, which is your, your plasma stream, which is the fourth state of matter, which is plasma. And then it'll come out about that far, and it's really, really hot. Um, lightning is a good example of plasma. That's on a huge scale with huge voltages. This is just a smaller version of that, basically. So basically it's like lightning coming out of the end of your torch, and it gets that hot that it will cut through steel up to, like this little machine here, it's just a standard workshop machine, and that'll cut like up to 10, 15 millimeter, three quarters of an inch plate through here. So it's all got to do with pressure, ionization, and um, electricity. So it's, um, yeah, they're really, they're really good things, and they're, and they're not dangerous at all. I mean, I don't suggest that you use one of these when you're standing in a puddle, got an, got an extension cord, you know, that you're leaning against, and then that's just silly. But they are, you won't electrocute yourself or anything with them because, like I said, they're, they're on the on the cutting side, they 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 won't they won't give you a boot at all. They might give you a little tinkle if your hands are wet, but it uh, it wouldn't be dangerous. So uh, yeah, that's my um, explanation of how plasma works. It's not very scientific, but that's how I understand it. And um, they're really good machines. Like I say, if you want to know, like this is a um, HF start, and there's also pilot art starts. Like this one here, you need to touch it. On your work to create the first shot of plasma so you can start cutting but there are other styles where you can just push the button on the torch and the plasma comes out straight away uh, i've got a video up the top if you want to see the difference of those sorts of things and um these machines are really good for your home workshop and that sort of stuff easy to learn to drive you know um, i'll chuck some links down below if you want to have a look at some cheap ones on amazon or whatever i just bought my off amazon it's, it's no uh, no drama they're as good as anywhere else and um yeah, so remember guys, if you, if you like my videos, subscribe to my videos, drop me a comment down below. I hope you understood this, it's probably as clear as mud. But anyway, I've done my best to explain it, and um, we'll catch you next time.